First of all, I have been in and I have edited the program here on the machine because I've chosen to use a piece of material. It looks to be about eight millimeters thick, 7.7, .7, which is right on the cutting limit of this machine, I think. It might not cut out, but what I've done, I've reduced the speed to five uh, millimeters a second. And what we'll now do is just, we'll run it without the laser. First of all, I'll go into track mode to see what track I'm cutting. So we'll just do enter for tracking. Right, so we're over here. Check again, track. Now we can go to run and we will turn everything on. On this occasion I'm using the air pump that they supplied with the machine. So we turn the water on, just listen for the air bubbles to disappear. Okay, we'll turn the air pump on and we'll see how much noise So there's not a great deal of air coming through there, but maybe enough. And we'll put the extractor on. And we'll turn the laser on. So everything is now on. We're ready to run, so if I press enter, we shall see what happens. Let's zoom in a little bit so that we can get a closer view of what's going on. Oh, I didn't set the focal point up. Quite important if we're trying to cut through 8mm material. And if anything, I'm probably about a millimetre deep, which is not a bad thing. Because it means I should get a little bit more depth on it. So I've probably got about 5.5 instead of 6.5mm focal length. Let's see what it does. See, I don't know whether <clears throat> I don't know whether acrylic is the right material to be etching on this sort of picture or whether it be on something like slate or wood. Well, here comes Harry. And you know what? I do believe it's cutting through eight millimeter material. looking at the way the pins are setting and I'm slightly worried that this whole thing is going to I don't know where it's going to go when it goes backwards but I don't want this to drop out so I'm very carefully going to support the edge there yeah I thought so as it happens nothing make it through. It's done about seven and a quarter. There we go, look, it is, it is actually breaking out. It's done a pretty masterful job. A few marks on the edge there, but generally speaking, it's not done a bad job. Let's have a look at the horsey picture. Well, we can see it's the shape of the horse. We can't see much definition in there at the moment. Well, it, it's a sort of success. I wouldn't say that I'm going to go out and manufacture lots of uh, graphics for people. 
but bearing in mind this is a demonstration and it's a start of how you can try and find a better way of creating these pictures. And even when we put it out here in bright sunlight, a success on one level and um, a bit disappointing on another level. So maybe we'll leave the uh, maybe we'll try the dot style in the next session.